We believe parents have a right to know what's being taught in the schools and have access to curriculum, and we've enacted curriculum transparency legislation. The media will some, and here's the thing. This wasn't true when I was in school and I graduated from public high school in Florida, but they are putting pornographic materials in the schools. Why are they doing this? It's an agenda, but parents have a right to send their 10-year-old to school without them being exposed to this. So we've empowered parents to object when things uh, violate our standards. What the media says is uh, Florida wants to ban books. They don't want access to books. And, you know, first of all, adults can do what they want. A school, by definition, has to curate what's in uh, a library or curate what's in a classroom. And if you're using tax dollars uh, to make decisions to put pornographic materials in, that's not an appropriate use of our tax dollars. We're going to make sure that that's not happening. I did an event to expose this. We called it Exposing the Book Ban Hoax. But before I brought the parents up to talk, before I said anything, we played a video where we showed all this material that the parents had been objecting to. The local news crews covering it had to cut their feed. They said it was too graphic to show. <laughs> well, if it's too graphic for the 6 o'clock news, how is it appropriate for a 9-year-old kid? 